In this toolset tutorial, we're going to add pagination to an existing view that is currently showing a list of testimonials on the testimonial page. Each testimonial is its own custom post type that came pre-installed with this test toolset platform that is running the 2015 WordPress theme. After we modify our view to add pagination controls, we will end up displaying only two testimonials per page with the option to scroll through to more testimonials on different pages using the numbered pagination or backwards and forwards arrows. To add pagination to this page, we need to go in and edit the testimonials view. So we go into our dashboard, we go down to our views tab, select views. Now select our customer testimonials. On this edit view screen, the first thing we need to do is go to screen options and check the pagination slider settings to enable it. Now if we scroll down this page, we come to the section for pagination and slider settings. We want to select pagination enabled with manual transition because you want the user to be able to manually scroll through the different items. You now get a message telling us that pagination is now enabled but we still need to add it to the filter. We will set the number of items per page to 2 and we'll also select this Ajax option here which means that the page does not need to reload every time someone selects the next item. We will leave these options as default. We will now select our pagination controls in our filter. We will choose page number selector using the links. And in this preview window, we can see what it looks like. We will insert the pagination controls. We will now go in for some more pagination controls and add the next and previous page controls. We will also insert these. We will lay out this filter now by moving the previous page control to above the current page shortcode. We'll also remove the WPML string because they are not needed here. And then we will go replace the previous and next text with the HTML code for forward and backward arrows. We now save all sections at once and check how our new testimonial page is looking. See, we're now only displaying two testimonials on the page rather than a full list. We can scroll through to the other testimonials. We now need to go in and format these dots so they show numbers and also we want to align it to the right. And we will do this by adding some custom CSS to the view. First of all, in the filter, we'll add a div with the class pagination container and then add some CSS styling. Now we can open up the CSS editor window directly beneath. I'm going to paste in the CSS styling for this view. We'll again save all sections. And refresh our testimonials page. You can now see that the pagination options are formatted with numbers and are floating to the right. Still displaying two testimonials. And the user can scroll through to different testimonials. Either using the numbers the forwards and backwards arrows. To summarize, in this toolset tutorial we have added pagination to an existing view to show the custom post by testimonials. To achieve this we enabled and then add pagination controls to an existing view and then styled it using custom CSS styling.